Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a good day. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share my students' perspectives, opinions, and ideas about the United States of America. In our previous meeting, we talked about the USA, and I have explained in brief about the country from many relevant and valid sources. So this time, I'm going to share with you my students' thoughts, opinions, and ideas about the United States of America. Please remember that the students have never traveled to the U.S., but they have high interest toward the U.S., and some of them want to travel to the country simply because the U.S. is an interesting country to be visited. And, of course, I graduated from one of the public universities in the U.S., so my students feel more attracted to see the U.S. because of that. I hope that you could listen to the voice of this 55 students, consisting of female students and male students in my classroom. If you have any question or feedback or anything you would like to state, please write down in the comment section below. And I'm happy to share and I'm happy to answer all of your questions regarding the student's voice. At last, this video has in, been intended to share the student's voice about the country. I hope that it is useful for everyone in this YouTube channel. And have a good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before we proceed further to watch the student's voice, please subscribe in this YouTube channel. Silahkan di subscribe dan kita berdiskusi secara intelektual in this YouTube channel. Mr. Seth's Corner, Sparkling Silent Silhouette, and Intuitive, Emotive, and Reflective. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Maratu Naima. Uh, my register number is 1814. Uh, 95 and 59. I'm from English Department B. So, before I answer your questions, I would like to say thank you for your explanation on your, on your YouTube. Yes. Uh, because you have given us more information so i would like to answer your questions about uh, we are as students coming from islamic background and we have never traveled to the usa and what it in our mind so of course in my mind many raise the, the questions like how the historical of Islam in this country so how can living in this country as Muslim and how can they as Muslim prayer in this country and anything else uh, and I was here that from other people if this country have um, minority of Muslim yeah is Muslim population is minority in this country uh, so I will right to visit this country uh, but that is when I in senior high school different with now but today's but today I'll I'll get I got I also got uh, more information so I think what did people is wrong because they just see just see from just from the their cover yeah from <clears throat> the cover not to the real in this country and after i got information about islam in this country that islam is as second religion that uh, will scatter in this country uh, i mean 
I'm excited to know this information and this. I think this imp- uh, important things as a student in English department. Uh, and I hope next time I have chance to visit this country and to see the real of this country. Okay, that's all for me. Thanks. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sari Putri Ramadhani. My number ID is 18140500045. I'm from TBIB. Uh, I would like to explain about my opinion uh, about country, the developed country, United States, America. Hearing the name of American, we know that it's about developed country and so the large country in the world. Uh, the United States has long been considered one of the world's superpowers based on its economic and political powers. Consisting of 50 states, the America borders the North Pacific Ocean, and North Atlantic Ocean as well as Canada to the north and Mexico to and Mexico to the south covering most of the northern part of the American uh, continent the US or American includes um, the state of Alaska in the far northwest uh, and the island of Hawaii in the Pacific now as a center for innovation and business it has been a key driver behind its culture and economic growth in America the American is used is one of the most ethnically ethnically diverse country in the world however it detailed breakdown of the ethnic diverse diversity in american tents to be difficult given that most americans come from different ethnic backgrounds and uh, other and the other my opinion about american being on one of the countries with high ethnic di- diversity certainly brings various kinds um, certainly brings various kinds of religious beliefs and practice. Most Americans believe that religion plays an important role in their lives, making it unique among other developed countries. Islam is the fast growing, uh, the growing religion in this era in American uh, in this in American today many media in America have called that Islam the large country uh, the large religion for American future the United States was previously and many Muslim life there who respect Islam in that era even many of the res- resident consider Islam to be a terrorist yeah but the fact but the fact that must be acknowledged is that Islam has spread so rapidly until now in that country despite to breed pressure on Muslim due to religious and also and also difference um, and a lack of tolerance the cultures of the United States has evolved around the world in various forms of forms of adaption and has influenced the whole world particularly the Western world music in the united states is widely listened to throughout the world and we know about that and shows of 
uh, American films and television can be viewed anywhere. It's so viral anywhere. Um, today, my cities there have a classical and folk music research centers and museums, dance performance, music and drama, important open art and artic architectural projects. It's about America. So the culture America has spread and we know about America. This this country is a large, large and developed and also about the culture has spread in this uh, in this world and most of our country follow the American culture so uh, it's about it's my opinion about American United States of American so thank you for attention Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, my name is Hairunisa my register number is 18140500067 and I'm from TBIB. Okay, in this video, I will giving my opinion about uh, what I think of United States as an Indonesia Muslim student. Uh, exactly, I have never been there and I took uh, the information from internet and social media. And my opinion about the United States uh, are the top of a country with the high technology and the country has a uh, rich ethnic and culture and also the interesting thing is uh, one of the best country for education in the world uh, they have a famous uh, college uh, include the Stanford University Columbia University uh, Chicago University and so on because of that many students in the world want uh, to uh, study in there and want to gr graduate from uh, that university and also and also to be one of the countries of choose in the best education as a student from predominantly uh, Islam country, of course we have the certainly a concert. Uh, as we know that uh, United States is a Christian majority country. According with the accident on 11 September 21, where the bombing uh, occurred in America by Islamic Al Qaeda militant. In according with evident Farsi, where uh, the accident uh, make uh, many building damage and many people dead. Uh, because the accident, the United States have uh, uh, the negative view of Islam, and uh, the United States uh, become uh, an anti-Islam country. The American society views Islam as a terrorist and had a Muslim as in some cases. According to an intuition that examines various issues affected Muslim, the oppression of Muslim children in the USA is increasing rapidly which is generally due to culture misunderstanding and religion. But I think no, the the United States is have the tolerance, like they are several mugs that are still open, and are used by the Muslim there, and also the existence of a dakwah community, even though is only found in few countries, uh, such as uh, New York, California and Illinois and we can also find that school and college uh, have a lot of Muslim students and not even a few Muslim students uh, left there and get the good behavior uh, from the surrounding um, community 
and also uh i have a watch uh a youtube channel where the channel contain a social experiment which show that are still many uh, american who have a high tolerance so uh i can conclude uh, that we cannot uh, judge uh uh, accordingly just from looking at from the outset if we want to know uh, how deep uh, the something uh, how deep uh, the country we must uh, visit that place okay uh, I think that's all my opinion about the United States as in uh, as Indonesia Islamic student okay thank you uh, for giving me a time uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Panji Reformasi My registered number is 18140005 and 50H In this video I would like to give my opinion and I would like to answer about my lecture questions the question is what do you think about American as Indonesian Muslim student okay I have a few statement about American and what I think about American and let's we start uh, as we know that I would like to say American is the American is the one of countries with uh, largest area and largest populations so in my opinion American also has a diverse cultures because of uh, in the principle culture was broke by uh, humans by residents or by the people so the more people out there or in American automatically there is uh, many cultures there and uh, as a country that has a lot of a lot of uh, population automatically also has uh, many cultures right I think there is uh, also diverse diversity in term of uh, religions uh, as Indonesian Muslim students before I think uh, about American I think American is is the one of country that that's not too friendly or that 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 not too close with uh, Muslim or Islams because uh, that's why I say this because uh, as we know that uh, there there are a lot of cases a lot of cases related uh, to religions uh, religion issues uh, especially Islams and uh, some people and I found it some people uh, when we when I watch uh, when I watch TV uh, I see that some some people even say Islams and Muslim uh, are terrorists but uh, after I watch the video from the Mr. Said Sukandi in their in the YouTube channel I have a I have a different I have a different things about Americans like what I think before I think before is a uh, Muslim and American uh, have have no relation or have no correlation at all yes like that and but after I watch the video from Mr. Said Sukandi uh, I feel like I'm wrong about 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 the statement who said that uh, Muslim and America have no correlation uh, and from the video from the video YouTube uh, from the YouTube video uh, I catch I catch uh, some statement who said that since colonial since since colonial times Muslims have become part of American culture and it's totally different from what I think before that is uh, Muslim and American have no correlation but the truth they uh, 
the truth is Muslim have become a part of uh, American culture so Muslim and American have correlation and have relationship and I'm happy to, to know this information and after I watched the video from Mr. Said Sukandi in their YouTube channel uh, they talk about uh, culture of American I feel like uh, uh, I think American is the one of country that uh, very complicated in many ways uh, I mean uh, and right now I feel like I would like to try to I feel like uh, challenge I challenge to try to feel how the atmosphere to war or live in American I don't know I'm just feel like that and uh, I really want to feel that uh, become a part of their culture uh, such as uh, when they are c celebrate of uh, Halloween or something like that I, I just think uh, that's a nice experience to when we can feel and join with their uh, with their uh, with American cultures such as Halloween's like that and okay I think that's all about my statement from what I think about American as Indonesian Muslim students and I would like to say sorry if there is a many mistake when I'm deliver my answer. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Anissa Fitriani from TBIB. Okay, I will give my opinion about what I think about the United States as an Indonesian Muslim student. What I first talk about the US is a development country frequented by tourists, which is a free country. In Indonesia, religious lessons are a lesson that must be taught from an early age because religion is one of the most important aspects of the life of Indonesian society. While in America, what consider religion to be a personal matter, therefore religious values are not taught in school. Then for public school in Indonesia, because it's relatively cheaper than private school, while in America, public school are free of charge. Even though the U.S. government is secular, it still allows school based on religion. However, the state will not distribute an end any assistant goes to school. There are several things that I think about American as Indonesian Muslim students. The first is how to worship in a country in a, a country where a majority of the population is not Muslim. Whether when studying their Muslim students will be given time to pray while lessons are in progress. Besides that, it's easy to find a clean and decent place even though there is a mosque in the U.S. But of course, it's not possible that every time we try to go to the mosque, especially if the mosque is far away than if we pray not is the mosque. How do we determine the correct Qibla direction? But I answered an article which said the teachers who do not mind Muslim students who want to pray. There are teachers who help prepare a place that can be used for praise. The second is that we as Muslim students can easily be accepted by the surrounding environment, especially friends and teachers, especially female Muslim students who wear the hijab. But I believe that is not a serious problem because many Muslim students can interact quickly with the environment around and have lots of friends. The third is halal food in Islamic minority countries. Of course, it will be difficult to find halal food both in school and a public place. If in the school canteen, maybe the school will provide facilities for Muslim students. But in public eating place, it seems 
difficult to find halal food. For determining which meat is halal and which is not halal might not be too difficult, but determining which instant food is likely to be difficult because non-halal ingredients might not be included in the composition section. At first, Islam was reported negatively because Islam accused of being the mastermind of terrorism. But it turns out that the Americans have several characteristics that are quite positive. The first is curiosity. The American listening to something is bound to show. As soon as Islam is called the sources terrorism, they begin to look for why Islam is this way. Even though this religion is embraced by so many people, and it turns out that after they search, they found the real Islam. It is not so difficult for Indonesian Muslim students to adapt to the U.S. environment and people as long as we can respect and appreciate them in addition. As Muslim students, we should be able to choose which people cultures is compatible with the teachings of our religion. I think that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Hanisa. My register number is 42 and I'm from CBIB. I want to answer the question is what I think of United States as an Indonesia student. In my opinion, as a Muslim student living in Indonesia, America is a country that is advanced in terms of technology and education. Not a few Indonesians and other countries want to study them. Also, the majority of Americans are not Muslim. Many Indonesians who are Muslim also live there to study. There are also those who get married and work there. The United States is anti-Muslim and many who differentiate between religions, race, kings, and so on. Maybe their people will be surprised to see someone wearing a hijab and think it's strange. But there are also many Muslim women who still wear the hijab. There are also several mosques, so we can worship at the mosque. And we as a good Muslim can pray at home comfortably and keep prayers on time. Some Americans also tolerate the people Islam in terms of prayer and worship. In the New York City, since Six years ago, Eid al-Fitri and Eid al-Adha are holidays. Halal food has also entered public school and being fought for is being provided in prisons. Americans say Muslims in America are well integrated. They integrate with society economically from the level of education and increasingly politically. Many earned above the average American. However, given the bad economic situation, people often look for scapegoats and find them in Muslims. High unemployment has contributed to as well, the current resentment towards foreigners and illegal immigrants. The Muslim population in the U.S. has increased in the last hundred years, with much of this growth being supported by immigrants in 
2005. More people from Islamic countries made up the U.S. population, nearly 96,000 annually compared to the previous two decades. Muslim and Islam have a long history in America. You might be surprised to see some facts in America that depend on Islam and Muslim. The number of Muslims in the United States is only 1% of the total population, but did you know that Muslims have a long history in the land of Uncle Sam? even since the American continent was discovered. That is, until now, there are still so many Muslims living in the American continent, even though there they often differentiate if the person is Muslim, and not infrequently still call Muslim terrorists but they still feel at home living there to work and also study because there we are know that education is very good and it will change our life for the better and get a good job thank you that's all my opinion assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay, my name is Dr. Okta Prima. I am from English Department B and I will discuss about what I think of the United States as an Indonesian Muslim student. Okay, the United States is classified as a post-industrial developed country and is the country with the most advanced economy in the world. The advancement of the United States economy is driven by availability of abundant natural resources, well-developed infrastructure, and high productivity. The United States is the world's first large importer of goods and second large exporter, although per capita exports are still somewhat low. The United States has a difference with Indonesia. In Indonesia, private schools are generally not very well known unless they have big names such as Bali International School or the like which have high level of achievement. Generally, Indonesian prefer public school because the costs are lower. Another case in the United States, even though they are more expensive, private schools are attracted by the wealthy because private schools generally have a purchase and early image. The education system in Indonesia plays too much emphasis on theory. Everything is based on theory. Indeed, the school has a lab but it is rarely used. An elementary school student are taught material the far exceed the reasoning abilities. Ac academically, uh, they are good. However, when they were told to practice, they were at a loss. Um, the United States are different again. They have a high degree of scientific uh, attitude. The education system is based on learning by doing. Regarding the religion of Islam, is the, uh, in this country, the United States people are not familiar with Islam. Uh, as they are used to Christianity or Judaism, which have been in the United States for much longer and have high visibility in the local media. And think that Islam has a negative impact of them. 
and but over time islam began to accept it by the people of the united states and the muslim community continued to grow and also Mus uh, muslim students studying that say that uh, the united states has a freedom of religion on campuses they also provided a uh, prior time for muslim students and people there often ask about anything related to islam okay that's all for me thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Amelia, I'm from CBIB, and my attendance number is 1814050055. And now I will answer question from my lecture is what I think of the United States as an Indonesian Muslim student. Okay, uh, the United States is a country that is developed in several aspects such as economy, education, technology, as well as in the film and music industry. And American is a country that embraces liberalism because most of the population of the United States think the religion plays an important role in their lives. In addition, American is also a secular a secular country, namely a country whose government does not recognize a particular religion as an official religion. Even though this is classified as a secular state, the United States government guarantees freedom of religion for every citizen. Uh, the legal basis for religious freedom in the United States is leads in the first amendment to the United States Constitution. The majority of the population of the United States are followers of the Christian religion. Christian in the United States comprise a variety of the denomination, uh, the faith. Majority of Christian in the United States are Protestant and Catholic Christians. Judaism is the small non-Christian religion in the United States. The despite belonging to the to a religion and ethnic minority group. Many American Jews play an important role in the United States. Many American Jews this kind of work in the political group political government sector and have become successful, successful businessmen in the United States. The second smallest non-Christian religion after Judaism in the United States is Islam. For the more uh, followers of, of Dharmic religions such as Hindu, Hinduism and Buddhism, in the, in the United States were mostly work in ma in by immigrants from South and East Asia, and some residents of the United States process to be adherents of atheism or agnostic. However, pluralism is not about eliminating difference, but rather about commenting difference in a dialogue. The vitality of religions in America is increasing when people of different religions gather to exchange information or share holiday celebration. The religious uh, groups, uh, he said, are also working with government and private partners to help people around the world. In fact, youth and young uh, professionals from different religious backgrounds often work together on volunteer projects and other activities to encourage mutual understanding. That is all from me. My name is Amelia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Marisa Rahmalia. My register number is 18 14 05 0017.
Uh, I come from English Studies Department B. My answer for the question in the session. Uh, well, the session is. Well, the question is. Um, a students coming from Islamic background, and you have never traveled to the USA. What do you have in mind about the USA? I think it is very interesting question. And my answer about this question is okay. Uh, my answer for this question is uh, the first. I think in my mind about the USA. Uh, is how to choose halal food uh, because we know that USA is a big country where Islam is not a religion that has many followers there and of course uh, for halal food uh, search this is one of the most doubtful things in a Muslim minority country especially for people or immigrants outside the USA who have never been to the to that country before including myself this is a worry in itself for me because food is a vital need for everyone uh, the second question in my mind is how to pray now this question is also closely related to my first question regarding my view of the USA who whose background we have never visit the USA I thought that if there was a Muslim minority of course Mus Moscow will be hard to find there maybe this question will be answered if I myself visit the USA I think um, this is uh, a worry itself for me because uh, I think food is a vital need for everyone for every human who travel to another place in the world mm, I think like that uh, maybe the second question in my mind about the USA is how to pray I think uh, this is my second question is also closely related to my first question uh, regarding my view of the USA um, whose background we have never visited the USA um, I thought that, that uh, if there was a Muslim minority uh, of course Moscow's will be hard to find there maybe this question will be answered if I myself visit the USA sometimes I mean um, the, 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 sec, the third question um, in my mind about the USA is um, is the appearance of my hijab consider strange um, because as we read on social media television and newspapers there have been several cases of shooting of Muslim students especially women uh, who wear hijab just because they were considered part of ISIS or something like that and I don't know if it happened because there was provocation from anti-islamic local parties or something mm, but what is clear is that if I go to the USA maybe the first thing I fear is the appearance of wearing hijab and I think um, this kind of anxiety is natural to be felt by people who have never been to Muslim minority countries especially for women and last um, 
might be the three questions are common but for ordinary people who have never been to the USA it can be a matter of worry but however after hearing the explanation from the Mr. Sayyid uh, it turned out uh, that the USA also had historical stories and figures of the entry of Islam into the country uh, although Muslims are not the majority there but um, I still want to know more about the life of Muslim students studying there especially for women um, I think is this enough uh, for me for give the argument uh, and opinion about the USA uh, as I is a Islamic student in Indonesia uh, thank you for the attention I'm sorry for many mistakes about about my English Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nova Angelin Name 49 Okay, I will answer of Mr. Sayed's question The question is A student coming from Islamic background And you have never traveled to the U.S. What do you have in mind about the U.S.? Okay In my opinion, U.S. is one of the most religious countries. America is a liberal democracy, at the same time secular, or adheres to the principle of separation between religion and state. But it is very broad to give religious freedom to its people. They don't hinder and they respect their citizens to freely choose their religion originally islam was considered the religion of middle eastern or pakistan immigrants who reside in several cities islam develops in line with the development of the muslim in this region as can be seen from a number of religious activities and centers of Islamic religious activity in several cities and towns. Like in Chicago, there are American Islam colleges. In North California, the American Muslim school stands. In addition, they are also open to immigrants they accept muslim from abroad such as the middle east spain morocco egypt south asia india pakistan including indonesia who come to their countries and if one day i go to the u.s having muslim in the u.s will also make it easier from me or other muslim immigrants to adapt here thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is muhammad arif hasibuan my register number is 18140500077 i am tbab in this video I will give my opinion about American country. In my opinion, America is a rich country. We can be seen from various sectors that they have. This is this evidence about the their current position, namely the center of trade world. It is inspirable from the well human resources.
Indonesia is not interior to America. However, what Indonesia lacks, Indonesia lacks is in the human resources. In the natural resources, they have rich, but in human resources, they haven't. If we ask Muslims students from Indonesia ask about American countries, it is, this is about the good question. In my in my opinion, America is a good place to study because in education they can be number one. And it is without Muslim. In my opinion. America is the country that anti-Muslim. This can be seen in various media that I read that America always discriminates against Muslim there. If from it is from inside, we also can we also can be seen from outside their country and from from outside their country they have people who fight muslim everywhere it can be concluded that they do not like muslim it is not from indonesia because from Indonesia still have well about relationship to America and I think if we are from Indonesia it is still safety to this country and I think it's enough and it is about my opinion all about my opinion about American country. I say thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Sonia Nabila from TBIA. I'm going to answer the question from the previous video on YouTube. You know, so my answer is I have never been there, I have never traveled to the US. So, what I know about them, about the country, and a citizen about America and American could be worrying but if you ask me as human I have negative and positive views about America okay let me tell you the positivity first about the personality Americans seem have a lot of enthusiasm and I observe it by watching movies they often wish good day each other like good morning good night how's life what's up something like that i mean how care they are that's good manner good attitude then let me tell you the negativity um this is about how americans view muslims you know how Americans view Islam. I believe they still have negative views, negative feelings about, about Islam and um, Muslims. But it doesn't mean all of them like that. I mean some people. Now, do you remember 9-11? I still remember. It was hot issue. I think that's the starting point of all conflicts. I feel they never recovered. Americans never recovered, never move on. And there were uh, negative perceptions against Muslims in the American public. I can see several symptoms of what we call Islamophobia, right? Islamophobia that exists in the America. Eh, not only in the America, 
but also in the West, even Asia like China, Korea, Japan. I feel the gap between Islam and other religions there. I feel a big gap. Then another reason I think is Islam is incompatible with American values who love freedom. Freedom, you know. Differences in religion, differences in culture. In the America, regions, Islam values and Muslims can be the root can be root of tensions. Where do you think all tensions between Muslims and Western societies? I'm sure I believe our current debate is colored by various interests. I'm sure that I believe that. All right, that's all from me. I remind you, this is just my personal opinion. So if you don't like it, you can judge my opinion. Done. I mean, not me. Hope you can respect. And for people around the world, hope we can tolerate each other for a better world. Okay. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Halo, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Denny Kurniawan. I'm from TBIB. My registration number 1814050044. Um, in my opinion, as Muslim student toward United States is, is very bad at this moment. This is too concerned concern for for me because this because there is still a lot of racism in that country. There is too much distinction between race, religion, and skin color. This country is very anti-Islam, so it is. Blasphemy against Islam often occurs in this country, and Muslim in America is very humiliated. So that there may, there are many conflicts that are experienced by the United States. Even Muslims are prohibited from entering the country since being led by President Donald Trump. And not only that, differences in skin color is very determined in that country. There are still many bullying of the black skins. This problem is getting bigger. So that there is a lot of criticism from Muslim majority countries such as Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, and many more, I think. Um, we have we hope that Muslim is we have the uh, we hope the the Muslims in America will be treated well. Um, I hope that when America's president changes, Muslim will be treated right and proper. I mean, but I am amazed at this country. Because there is no doubt about advances in technology and educate, education. So that many foreign countries enter America to continue their studies in the order to get better jobs and future. Isn't that interesting to listen to the diverse opinions and thoughts about the USA from these students? The students are Muslim students studying at Winnie Mambonjol Padang with me. I am Dosen Luar Biasa at the university. Dosen Luar Biasa means that I'm not a tenure track faculty, but I am trusted to teach the cross culture understandings course. What do you think about their thoughts and opinions? What can you conclude? Or do you have any ideas or suggestions? Please write down in the comment section. Kalau ada saran, ide, silahkan. Yeah, jangan lupa subscribe. Okay? Thank you.